This is what overcoming adversity means to me. Everyone in life has dealt a hand, and whether you become successful with that hand or fail with that hand is up to you. Not everyone gets a good hand, and not everyone gets a bad hand, but each person in their life has the expectation and the responsibility to do what they can with their life. Overcoming adversity means to climb hills as well as tiny hills to get where you want to go. Not everyone has to try as hard to get to that goal, but eventually it depends on how bad you want to achieve that goal. What does overcoming mean to me? Um, overcoming adversity to me is when your back's against the wall, um, you just have to scratch your claw and fight to get your way back to where you want to be. Um, everyone is given a situation in life that could be good or it could be bad, and it's how you respond to it and it's how you react to it. Um, you can put your head down and grind and try to fight and get back, or you can shy away from um, the adversity. And I think those who can handle adversity and push through it um, and work to get back where they want to be really have uh, found a lot of success with that. People at Augsburg University overcome obstacles in many different ways. Students from all types of background, whether that be worn torn countries in Africa, Asia, and South America, to students in the Step Up program who overcome the biggest problem of addiction. People at Augsburg come from all walks of life. But the thing is here, we are all one. We are all one family, we stand as one, and together we will be one. I see people at Augsburg University overcome um, adversity uh, there's many situations on our football team here with guys coming from different backgrounds. We have guys in the step up program. Um, this is just a melting pot. I feel like at Augsburg, your brown guys are from different backgrounds, which introduces you to new stuff, which kind of opens your mind as well. Um, I think seeing the guys who come from uh, low income families, who are first generation college students, who have to go to the adult undergrad program, which is all night school. I think seeing that uh, is really inspirational to others who may not be in that same situation. So I think being around those kind of guys and seeing them overcome what they have to go through uh, gives you motivation as well to get through what you're going through, which is probably not as nearly as much as what they're dealing with. So I think that's really inspirational. Um, it's awesome to be around those kind of people, um, and I think that really motivates guys around them. Interesting story as an individual. Um, I have not met someone in my position who has overcame what I've would have been given and still come out on top. Um, it all started in 2008 when my dad was diagnosed with leukemia. I remember the exact date, September 23rd, 2008, he was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. At the time, the illness wasn't one that doctors most commonly cured. It was one that they attempted to cure, but not was, many weren't successful. On September 24th, 2009, it's the day he passed away, a day I'll never forget. I held my brothers in both arms and together, you know, we were able to bond in a, in a moment where not many people were able to confide in each other. Cancer's always been a problem in my family's life. A year after that, in April 20, 2010, I was diagnosed with my cancer for the first time. After simple rounds of chemotherapy and radiation, I was deemed cancer free after eight months. Four years later, in April of 2014, right before high school graduation, I was re-diagnosed with the same cancer in the same spot. This time, doctors assured me that they could fix the problem as long as they did what they knew they could do and give me the maximum amount of chemotherapy. But the biggest thing for me was I did not want to be behind in class. My best friend, Sebastian Larson, was coming to Augsburg to wrestle and I wanted to be right there beside him as a football player. So I, I committed. I came to Augsburg and underwent my first year of chemotherapy and I sat out as a football player. Coach Haggy assured me the whole time I would be a part of the team and there's nothing I wouldn't do for that man. After nine months of chemotherapy, 90 days in the hospital, and extensive missing of classes, I came out on top. I finished my chemo, I was able to attend class full time with no problems. Fast forward four years later to my senior year in college. April 20, 2018, the same cancer came back for the third time in the same spot. This time doctors assured me that there was nothing they could do other than remove the ear. I didn't care what they said, all I wanted to do was play football. So in April 2018, I underwent a procedure to remove my right ear and I was able in that August to 
play my last year of football. There's nothing I wouldn't do for this Augsburg football team. I committed my life to playing football and I'll always be a football player. Everything I've done, everything this school's done for me has gone above and beyond expectations and I don't think I'd be where I am without this school. We are Augsburg, here we stand. Adversity is, I feel like I've always had to try to prove myself with, with in school and sports, everything I'm doing. Um, I started off at a junior college in Northern Minnesota, Itasca Community College, where I was surrounded by a great group of guys, great group of coaches. Um, but if you've heard anything about uh, junior colleges before, it's a grind, it's a struggle. You're with guys from all over the country, from crazy different backgrounds. But I made friends that lasted a lifetime, and I think being there made me who I am today. Kind of uh, taught me how to not take anything for granted. And then after that, I came to Augsburg, where I had a great junior year, um, great, around a great group of teammates, great group of guys. Had a pretty successful year, I thought. And then going into my senior year, you guys worked really hard in the offseason. We were all fired up. Um, the second game of the year, I tore my labrum, um, season-ending injury, which was really hard on me. Um, I was really looking forward to going out the right way in my senior year with those group of guys. Um, so I was really questioning myself that I really want to come back. I knew it was going to be a grind with the rehab and everything. Ended up having two surgeries in a week. I uh, also tore my meniscus. So I was really, I was, I was going through some hard times, but I just kept thinking about my, goes back to last week, family and teammates around me, and they really kept me up, kept me motivated to get back. Um, once I was cleared to do spring ball and everything, I felt great. Uh, this summer's been great. We're, we're working out a lot, great group of guys around us. So I think um, at the end of the day, like I said at the beginning, if you go through some, when your back's against a wall, um, you can either back down or go get it. And I think by going and getting it and be grinding it out, you're gonna um, be surprised what, what kind of success you'll have at the end. Awesome.